And we are live. Hey peeps. Hi. Welcome to Hacks Chat. I'm your host, Art T. Bear. I have been in the comics industry for over 30 years working for Marvel and DC on such titles as Adventures of Superman, Action Comics, Detective Comics, Fantastic Four, X-Men, Cable I penciled, um, a bunch of X-Men titles if I haven't said that. The current book I'm working on is Super Sons and uh, welcome to my little studio, Hack Shack Studios, where uh, we do comic books and create uh, properties, IPs and things like that. So. Without further ado, let me introduce to you my right-hand woman. Hi, everybody. It's Tag. Art, the chat is already demanding more black and white examples. Yes, you guys are going to get a fistful of black and white, man. You guys are going to be burnt out. We have so much cool stuff to show you guys. Um, Taylor and I have been working on the video, and we're so excited about the video for the Indiegogo campaign that even though it's rough, it's in its rough stage, we are going to debut it for you guys today. So you will get to see the video um, in its rough form. And I, I thought it would be fun, right, to just show, you know, a little work in progress. So have some questions for Taylor um, about the video, ideas of how she put it together, questions. Uh, Feedback is appreciated. Yeah, so just like always, we're kind of doing uh, this for you guys to try to give back to the community and uh, to help create a comic book community as well, an independent comic book created, uh, creator um, community. And uh, so yeah, feel free to ask any questions along the way. And like I said, we have video um, that we're gonna debut here and also I, I never know what order to go in um i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> um gosh should we should we just make the announcement of like the creative people that we're working with taylor that let's we, mm, should we do that do now you, wait, we should wait until we show them the new the pages with their color on them maybe. okay should we do the video first then let's do the video um by the way, I don't know if I should read through. There's not a vocal track on the video yet, so I'll probably speak a little to cue you guys in on what some of the stuff is portraying. Um, some of the music will probably change, so the first time through, I'll kind of tell you guys what to... Yeah, this is definitely a work in progress, and uh, I think we'll run through it a couple times, but the first time, uh, Taylor, maybe just enhance like what's going to be said and then maybe we can kind of tear it down or, or kind of dissect it um, creatively the second run. But maybe the first run, just so they can entertain it. Um, just you know, get in. Yeah, yeah, we'll just kind of enhance what's, what's uh, the voiceover. Because this is without a voiceover, so I'm going to do a voiceover um, track. Oh, I thought that, oh, I have to go here. I already forgot. I already forgot Spoiler what I was doing. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I'm clicky. Just call me Clicky McT Bear. So yeah, this will be. This is the rough uh, work in progress video for the black and white Indiegogo. So without further ado, I hope we have enough people in the chat. Oh, well, maybe we'll play at the end too for any latecomers. So here we go. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Here we go. So this will be me talking, introducing myself, and I'll say, hi, I'm R.T. Bear, and then I'll show up. <laughs> so this is me drawing the layout, the rough layout for the cover. We got some other footage that we might put in here of me uh, penciling Whitney's face for the final cover. But uh, yeah, this is, and then this is me introducing the different titles that I've worked on. X-Men, Ultimate X-Men, uh, Adventures of Superman, Action Comics, Cable. Uh, Detective Comics, that's moving pretty fast. We're learning a lesson already. Uh, action and uh, Fantastic Four with Art Adams. So then this is like a little preview of, of 1994. This is what the book was um, when we first came out with it. So we're giving a little bit of backstory here. This is the ash can for the book. And we're going to have this part of the campaign, too. So we only have maybe 100 and 150. 
of the ash can so it's going to be a pretty exclusive campaign and we might have some of like we might do a 90s tier where we just have like pogs and trading cards <laughs> and all the other stuff that like that's on the table there look at that. yeah look at the swag and then that was then dot 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 dramatic pause this is now yeah <laughs> Black and white, black and white, black and white. <laughs> oh, they love the pogs. Who doesn't? Taylor did a great job here with all the movement. These are going to be color too. So these, some of these are just holding pieces. So we're waiting to get some of the coloring back. So these are just kind of um, uh, the black and white panels. So then this will be the full cover, all colored up and inked and everything, but we don't have it done yet. So this is just a holding place as well. So this will be me talking, right, Taylor, about the, yeah. the concept. And this is uh, the plot. I don't know if you remember the actual line, but it's like, should I give it? I don't yeah. know. It's just like, Reed Black is an ex-British MI10 agent. And they talk about how he unexpectedly falls for Whitney Sung, but then a monster from her past appears rising from the ashes to set her world on fire and he has to go back into the world of, of espionage that he tried to escape so we have a long I'll eat your face oh yeah but <laughs> that she, line hasn't changed <laughs> I love that line but she turns out that Whitney is hardly the damsel in distress get that back he here <laughs> I'm trying to save you <laughs> That's what he would be saying, something like that. Turns out that... <laughs> she doesn't need saved until here. And they might be the perfect pair to create black and white. Donning cybernetic, symbiotically linked suits. They're bulletproof, they're, they're enhanced, um, strength enhanced. They have a lot of features, so those will be uh, described there. And then this is the parting support. Please help us. Fun this dream. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Fun this dream. Black and white. We're so close, we're Taylor. Done. We're so close. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's the the rough draft of the video. Looks good, says the people. Yes, people. Would you like to see it again, people? Let's do we it. Got some more people joining us. Okay. Gosh, I gotta. I, I have to see this again. It's so cool. All right, let's do this. Are you guys ready? Are you sitting down? Run it back. So yes. Okay. By popular demand. Hi, I'm RT Bear. I've been working in the comics industry for over 30 years on such titles as. Oh. Yeah, man. you guys I might thought... notice the pacing's a little slower just because we're going to add the audio track and stuff. Yeah, we're going to do a scratch track um, today after we get done here. And so we'll get the timing down. DJ says the video sold him. It's already on the buy list. Oh, thank you, DJ. <laughs> so here's my past resume. We Cable. couldn't fit the whole thing in. Yeah. <laughs> Cable was the fifth best-selling book for the year that it came out. And then here's the past. I'm a quick... I'm, it's a quick page turner. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to give away too much. Yeah, so here's issue two. And then the ash can. We also are going to have an ash can. We're not sure if it's going to be an ash can or if, like a full comic, but there's a 16-page um, backup story that was put in all the Image slash Extreme comics um, that came out in 94. Mm. So we're going to compile that as uh, maybe an ash can. And because, because the original ash cans were very limited... So we're going to put out um, a new ash can as well. No, we gotta turn it up. I know I asked you to, to go slower on that one pan down, Taylor, but we might want to speed it up okay. a little bit. Yeah, it is a cool press. reveal. The one with the screens, but this one. So maybe just a tad faster. Yeah, it's usually it ended like right before the, the drop. This, this is still work in progress, that, because I still have to clean up some of the inks on that, so it's still a little rough. And then this will be the full reveal of the cover. You guys are going to lose it when you see this full cover. 
I'll be inking it tonight. And so this is, uh, this is Reed Blackett, AKA Black. So we introduce him as the, the business, the good business guy is trying to help out the uh, struggling brewery. And this is uh, Whitney, the heiress to the brewery. And this is our villain, JC. Or, or is he? Jake Chang. Yeah, or is he, exactly. <laughs> So this is Reed in his early black getup. We actually have a new color version of like a lot of these shots. Yeah, these are old color versions. You so, guys thought this was cool, just wait. Yeah, so if you guys hang on, um, we're actually going to debut some of the the recolor of Sick. these panels. The whack. What are you doing? I'm saving your butt. <laughs> <laughs> This is a this is a turnaround that I did with Jeff Tribbs. He does uh, video games, so he worked that up for me. Well, I drew it, but he did all the color work. And this is what gets me the fade into <laughs> the Indiegogo. Just seeing it, Taylor, doesn't it start bringing it like the reality to it? It's making me nervous and like excited. right right here. This is the part that gives like oh my gosh, this is this is real. <laughs> Is this real? Okay, so as soon as I click off this, you guys are going to see the first panel. Are we moving too fast? We should be slowing down. We should be building anticipation. I got to learn how to do that. Okay, so here we go. This is, this is going to be a cool episode. This is a lot of stuff. Okay, so. Look at that. We can finally announce it. This is this is a panel. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Um, this is a panel that we just got back. And this is still work in progress, too. So this isn't final art. But we can finally announce that um, we're partnering um, with Hi-Fi Color. So Brian Miller, who's got a an amazing comic book resume, mainly works for DC right now. Um, but he's... I, I don't know how we got him, but he's agreed. And he is a black and white fan, so maybe that's how we got him <laughs> um, to come in. and. The ultimate bribery is just being involved. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So uh, if there's anything else anybody wants to contribute that I don't have to pay for, feel free. <laughs> Wait, i got to take a drink. The chat is loving this. I can't tell if you guys are saying it's awesome because the video still, or if you guys are amazed by this beautiful color. Um, but this is a little scratchy because uh, sometimes what what I'll do is I'll do some um, like Photoshop work over like um, like Brian's work just to give him color notes. So this was kind of this bluish color you can see here. So the canopy of the the mech bots were like more of a transparent blue because like I said you can still see some of the blue here but I thought it would kind of look they look a little meaner with the red with that rusty red color so they look a little bit more impersonal the blue kind of warms it up a little bit so that's part of the the uh, the collaborative um, aspects to what we do and um, we liked all the embers because I, I had indicated some but uh, Brian and his team just went in there. He works with his wife, too. She's, she's amazing as well. Um, but they're a little too round. I don't know if you can see some of the embers. Um, so those are going to be a little bit more organic shaped. So they're going to be less geometric and a little bit more organic. Um, and there's going to be a little bit of mist that's going to be added in here. But other than that, this is pretty much the panel. I think it's going to be a little bit more textured. I don't know if you can see it right here. But there's some really cool textures that are in the robot. So I think he's going to add a little bit more. So they don't look as pristine as... Uh, some wear and some patina on the metal. Yeah, exactly. But gosh, look at that. This is so <laughs> cool, man. This is definitely like breathing some... This is next level stuff right here. So this this goes beyond anything I was I was thinking we were going to be able to do. So gosh, look at that depth. Um, so let's go, let's go, let's move forward. Um, anyways, this is, this is, uh, Brian Miller, Hi-Fi Color. I'll probably say that a million times before it's all said and done. Official announcement, Hi-Fi Color's on the book. <laughs> yes. So this is definitely a work in progress, so don't hold this against Brian. I just couldn't, well, Taylor and I talked this morning. 
we couldn't hold back anymore. We had to show you this, you guys, this stuff. So um, this is, once again, like I said, work in progress. So some of the stuff we do, um, Taylor helps out because she's a little bit more Photoshop savvy than I am, but I'm a quick learner, mm -hmm. is she had a yellow outfit. And so um, we were thinking since she's her name's White, that maybe she should have, you know, a white outfit. And so one of the things that, you know, um, what was, it? how do you say it? Not a mandate, a criteria, a, uh, a mantra with the colors was Star Wars. Oh meets... yeah, the themes, yeah. We yeah, were... themes, that's it. Uh, Star Wars and Blade Runner for yeah. lighting. Yeah, so Star Wars kind of meets Blade Runner. So I like all the environmental stuff in Blade Runner with the mist and like the def the the diffused lighting. So this is really really rough, guys. Um, but like I said, I hope Brian's okay with me showing this because this <laughs> this isn't finished work, and most artists don't like people to show their unfinished work. This will be different when you guys uh, yeah this will final yeah this will all be modeled all this and also. There's a 21 that's going to show up on her leg. And I'll probably also say this a million times before it's all said and done. I always put my daughter's age in all my work. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see a number, it usually will mean that's how old she was when I drew the image. So she's 21 now, so there's a 21 on the leg. And also, I don't want to spoil alert. You can obviously tell she's in a cell of some sort. And, and you know, it's not looking good for Whitney here. Um, so those are kind of like her skivvies um, in this this mental you know facility that she's she's been locked away in. So and then I was thinking if the light because the light wasn't brought up this high, but like this diffused light coming in here, um, I'm sure Brian and his team will work this out way better than because Taylor and I just did it real fast. And then maybe around the hair here it'd be picking up some of the light so with the white and you can see the diffused light across her body here so the idea being is that she kind of has this halo effect and so she's kind of being presented as like she's kind of an angel but the stuff that's going to be coming out of her mouth and obviously her attitude is not uh is not very angelic like so i thought it would be a good ju juxtaposition of like uh, a gesture that's very aggressive and then what's the line Taylor oh it's like get away from me you pervert or I'll eat your face <laughs> we, speaking of the dialogue we have okay. Jeff Eckleberry right now in the oh, chat. oh Jeffrey we were gonna announce you we were gonna announce you we were saving the best for the last hey Jeff Jeff is like a big hack shack supporter Oh my gosh, this has turned into a great show, Jeff. He's um, shouting at you. He says, Art! Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> it's been too long! Jeff is a letter extraordinaire. Um, he works uh, with... Uh, he works on the Cry for Dawn books. Uh, how long have you been working on that, Jeff? Forever. And uh, feel free to comment. We'll just turn this into the Jeff Eckleberry show. It'll be a mini Q and A in the chat. <laughs> yeah, and so Jeff is going to, uh, if we can get him down on the price. No, we'll we'll pay him full price. Um, <laughs> he does so much stuff for us. Uh, God, I'm so excited now, Jeff. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, this was supposed to be Brian's moment, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so Jeff came in. Gosh, when was it, Jeff? Uh, early 2000s when we did chrono mechanics for image comics and what is it 2003 is that what you, oh. dawn since 2003 various marvel books since 2006 yeah so jeff is well established in the comic book industry he does brilliant lettering um if you're looking for a letter um get jeff jeff does amazing work and he's a lot of fun to work with and there's when you work with people, sometimes you gel, sometimes you don't. Some people's personalities are kind of hard to work with. And we've been really, really lucky uh, with Jeff and Brian and, of course, me working with Taylor. Um, it's, been very, it's been very easy when you, re when you meet the right people to work with. Um, 
and and it actually can be fun as well, uh, which is a plus. So yeah, so Jeff is coming in on the book. He's going to letter um, the 48-page graphic novel. And um, also go to Jeff's YouTube. There's a killer uh, Chrono Mechanics trailer he put together. Yes. Yeah, it's really cool. There's some animatics in there and stuff like that. He animated the Chrono Mechanics logo, which looks amazing. Hey, Jeff, did you, you... Oh, my gosh. You animated a black and white logo, too. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I think he did for the old um, Hack Shack Studios website. So um, maybe if Jeff can go through the Jeff archives. If that's still around, maybe you could send it our way. Yeah, that would be cool. It'd be cool to see. It'd be cool to show everybody. Yeah, for the old Hack Shack site. Oh, you still have it? Oh, awesome. Yeah, the people will love to see that, Jeff. Um, I'll dig it up, he oh. says. Yes, this is turning into the best day ever. <laughs> so just to be clear, colors by Hi-Fi, letters by Eckleberry. This is a top-notch notch book, you guys. is shaping up. Yeah, we have some bad news. We're going to hit you with that later, but um, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep moving forward um, unless Jeff wants to add any more, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't mind. Let's turn this. Oh, 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 before we do, before we move on. Okay, this is a little Jeff Eckleberry story. Okay, <laughs> Jeff is so cool, so amazingly cool. Um, and he, he lives in uh, Connecticut, I think, with his two children. Um, they're very hairy children. I think some people call them dogs, but he <laughs> calls them his children. So um, in the comic, there's the character, in the Chrono Mechanics comic, there's a character named, his name's the Foreman. It's just the Foreman. And... Instead of cussing, he says an, an expletive that we made up for mm -hmm. the comic. And what he does is he says, Echo Berries. He's like, oh, <laughs> Echo Berries. And <laughs> I think at first Jeff didn't like it because it was like kind of like making fun of his name. But we, it, it was all good, clean fun. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this, Jeff, but um, there's, there's a Chrono Mechanics script a movie script that's floating around that uh, I News wrote. News drop. Yeah, I wrote it with um, um, with Matt. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on his last name. Matt Hillary, and uh, it's being shopped around Hollywood right now. But the Jeff Eckleberries or just Eckleberries managed to make it into um, the movie script. So the character of the foreman. In the movie script says, oh, Eckleberries, <laughs> ah, Eckleberries, because he's a grizzly, grizzled old, uh, old, uh, you know, mechanic character. So. I'm in a script. I love it. Yes. Jeff. Yes. And if it's, I, I will insist, Jeff, if, if this, or I shouldn't say if, I should say when this is made into a movie, I will insist that that line stays in no matter what, because I think it'll be awesome. And for all that you've done for us, it's the least I could do. MK says, Eckleberries is as good as Sweet Baby Christmas. Oh, somebody read the book? <laughs> somebody read the book? By the way, if you guys want to read Chrono Mechanics, um, you can actually get the book. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I'm plugging this no, in. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> on um, chronomechanics.com. And I don't, do we sell it on the Art by T Bear website? I, I think we got it wrong last time we explained it. So I do believe it's for sale on the Chrono site. Yeah. If you guys want to read up on that, get your, get your Eckleberry and Art fix. Yeah, the, and then you can see what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, there's the 40 page image graphic novel. And I do believe that we're, we have the collected trade on the side as well um, but you might want to try the art by T bear as well at the very least I, I believe there's a link to the chrono site there but they might be for sale there as well uh, along with original artwork and prints and uh, all kinds of good stuff post the link on the chat says Denali okay Denali we will I'm gonna see if I can Denali okay so yeah so we're kind of got a Blade Runner thing going on here with the diffused lighting. And um, the cool aspect is the lighting diffused through here makes Reed pop out and it gives a lot of depth to the piece. 
So Brian really knows what he's doing here. So once again, I hope he's not upset because these are work in progress. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. He, he can't be upset about this one. This one's great. Yeah. You. Yeah. And this. There's no changes. This thing's brilliant. So you saw this in the video, the black and white version in the indigo video. But this. This will be the final color. Look at the modeling on this face and the rim light with the fire. Holy, holy schmoly! I, I almost gave the origin of the eye and everything, but I no, won't. No. I yet. won't. I won't. <laughs> I will stop myself. As cool as it is. So, uh, obviously, this is not a nice guy here. Um, in the original comic, his name was Jake Chang. So, uh, look but at the... is he what he seems in this story? We don't know. No. Can't tell you. This is kind of, it's, it's got some spy thriller aspects. So, a lot of identities and things aren't exactly what they seem. So, that's part of the fun of, uh, of spy thrillers is, you know, everybody is not quite what they seem. And... Um, Things aren't always what they seem, so there's always some kind of mystery going on. And black and white are definitely, especially black, is a mystery character. And yeah, I guess so is Jake. Okay, let's go on. This is the Brian Miller Hi-Fi Hour. So this is the close-up. Zoom in on this one a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Look at the hair. Look at that. It's crazy. I don't even. I don't think this is as high res as. Because I think these are these are lower res files that um, he sent. I don't know if the camera will pick up all the subtleties of the color. I guess you guys will just have to buy it in printed form. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the blue eye. Look at that. How could you not like want that guy to save you? So read... read uh, Black it, aka Black, is very, very altruistic. I wanted to do a character that is exactly what he seems. Like, um, there's no gray area to this character. So when he says something, um, he carries it through. When he helps you, he helps you. Um, he's a man of his word, and he has a ton of integrity. So, um... It, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, he doesn't have any ulterior motives, so you can uh, imagine that being a spy was very difficult for him. Yeah, and so in the story, when he says he's going to do something or when he does something, um, he carries it through. And also, the world that he lives in is a very gray area world, but he is not a gray area character. Denali wants to know if you, this is a good time to plug the remastered, they want to know if you changed the hair because they said it looks significantly different from the four issues that they purchased before. Because I guess they purchased the old book. Yeah, um, that's a good question. This whole panel is remastered. So this is not the original drawing that was in the original comic book. So what I'm doing, and I think later on I'm going to try to show you. I just don't know how boring it will be. Because the digital process is really slow. So maybe we could videotape it, Taylor, and then... Yeah, let's But do don't that. do it live, and then maybe we could speed it up. That way you guys can kind of see. Um, yeah, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, yeah, if it if any of you guys in the chat don't know, uh, which we we talked about it in a, well, a lot of our videos, and I think in our last video we pretty much talked about it exclusively, but uh, Remastered isn't just new color and new dialogue, because there is new dialogue and like it's rewritten, but it's also like all the artwork is remastered. Like art has gone in and updated all of this stuff. And if you want to see a really good before we do the uh, kind of the process video, our last video we actually showed like side by side comparisons. If you really want to see some of the major changes that he's made, he's gone in by hand and done. Well, I guess it'd have to be by hand to be weird with anything else. But I did it with a with a robot. <laughs> I hate when people say by hand, like digital isn't by hand, but he's gone in and just updated all the work and kind of brought it to a contemporary standard. So you guys should totally check out that other video. After this, don't leave. Yeah. So for an old, for an old uh, veteran, comic veteran like me to go in here and start drawing digitally, um, there's a major learning curve too. But the neat thing is it's a, it's a really cool hybrid of the original and and all the new stuff that I'm bringing into it. Also, there's going to be a ton of new artwork, mm -hmm. uh, new panels, uh, new pages, 
just a ton of new stuff. So this isn't even going to be close to what the original 90s version. Um, it's going to be a million times better. Gosh, it's probably got, um, when it's all said and done, there's probably going to be 10, 15 pages of extra material, like brand new material in it. So almost a completely new pay, like issue that's going to be in the 248-page graphic novels. It is going to be two. And um, if you are a reader of the original, you'll know, like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? <laughs> um, if you are a reader of the original, you'll notice that it's, um, it's very fast-paced. So we kind of had the opportunity with these new pages to elaborate on some of the interesting little story points that back in the day you kind of didn't have time to yeah and we're and we're bringing we're bringing new a lot of new i don't want to i don't want to say it now but a lot of new aspects to um the team dynamic and to their weapons and their suits and all that other stuff so it's it's definitely brought into a 21st century sensibilities because believe it or not you know the 90s were you know still the 20th century <laughs> so we're in a different completely different century now man I, I look i sound old let's let's do let's do some kind of like cinematic pan do 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 the searchlights he's searching it metaphorically <laughs> he's searching he's looking for whitney he's found her now He's moving down, he's, showing his descent in the seedy underworld as he kind of goes back into vigilanteism. He's going, he's, he's dipping his foot. He's literally leaping into a new arena that he's never been part of before. He was a spy, but now he's kind of donning the guise of a vigilante, even though he's not totally aware of it yet. I wish we could show you guys this full page because it's awesome, but you yeah. have to wait. I just, I just think, if we were to do that, I think Brian might be a little upset <laughs> because these are still work in progress, guys. I mean, this is pretty much um, where we want it, but there's a couple, there's still a couple tweaks on it. So um, once again, it's got the um, the atmospheric, you know, no spoilers. Kinda, kinda, level three. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks for backing my. My play. So we we have kind of the the Blade Runner kind of mist stuff coming in here, and the diffused tower in through here, and it wraps. There's more to the panel. It wraps around, but you can kind of see it coming back through here, and then we have the warms and the warms in here. The colors against the uh, the cool colors. Brian and the blues. does the uh, atmospheric dramatic stuff very well. Yeah, and there's just a lot of dimension to the work so um so yeah that's guy i want to show more i want to keep going but that's pretty much it as far as what we should show <laughs> um you guys we can show them the first one again just loop oh. through if any of you because i know there's some new people here if you guys oh yeah see this. yeah if there's new people coming in we'll we'll kind of go through these again and, and maybe we'll wrap it up with the video in case you're coming in late too um, we have a work in progress Indiegogo video. So, yeah, this is uh, Brian Miller's color. And hi fi. So, there's that one. There's the Eat Your Face panel. <laughs> She's been through a lot by that point. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of it. I, I guess we can we can be sympathetic. Some of it's by her own hand. Uh, she may may not. Her have... situation is sympathetic, but the way she reacts to things, I think, is how she probably always would because of her nature. Yeah, let's just say some of it might be self induced. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is her with um, with medication with uh, with some tranquilizers in her. Yeah, she's sedated and she has that kind of. Rage, yeah. <laughs> but her rage is what fuels the story, too. Uh, Denali says, R.T. Barry, you said before that the remastered Indiegogo will launch later this month? Question mark. Okay, yeah, that's that's kind of 
Yeah, yeah, that's still that's still intact, and we're going to give you a little update on that um, after we kind of recap this stuff for anybody that's coming in late. It looks amazing, says somebody in the chat. I'm glad yeah. you guys like this. Yeah, I am so glad as well. Because we work in a vacuum, so we never know. And then one of the cool things about the YouTube channel is we get to act, interact and get direct feedback from you guys. Saggy Bone says, hey, Art, I just picked up Adventures of Superman issue two. Oh. I'm Adventures of Super Sun. Super Sun. Oh, it's out. Oh, cool. We got our comps. So I never know when those books come out. Yeah. So we did the first three. Um, and so I could basically come in and do the uh, the more independent stuff with black and white. And, and Taylor and I have ideas for other um, Indiegogo um, campaigns as well. I had to leave um, DC and Super Sun so I could devote more time to black and white. So I'm really hoping you guys support this so um, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like I made a bad decision because uh, DC, there's a lot of security. This is a little... This is a little uh, I don't know. It's not it's not quite as dependable. Let's put it this way. If you support black and white, you're not just supporting this one project. You're supporting our ability to move forward as independent creators. Yes. Well said. Better said than what I did. What I did there. Don't let us starve. Yeah. <laughs> I can please. only do that voice warble like once in a sentence. I can do it anytime. I can do it on command. Right now, ask me. Do it. <laughs> Help. That was good. That was good. Aldis says, looks great. Can't wait to get the book. Oh. Got a lot of supporters. I love your mouth music, guys. So <laughs> then here's here's the wrap-up. So what I wanted to mention is we had we were we were pretty much locked into the tenth for the launch to go live on Indiegogo, the black and white campaign. But, uh, but back to the following week. So what did we have? Was it the 13th, the 13th 14th? I believe, which is a Thursday. Yeah, of the following week. So that will give us more time to... Because we still have three pages of color that we need to get back from Brian. Um, As you a, can see, it's worth the wait. Yeah, a cover that I have to finish, and I'm hoping to have that done tonight. And then... Uh, that needs to be colored, and then we have to finish up the video. And believe it or not, we just have a thumbnail of what the campaign's going to be, so we still need to <laughs> actually figure out what the campaign is going to be. We're going to rough out the campaign draft tonight, so try to I, get all that together. Oh, I think we're going to do that this weekend. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we this morning we Figuring came up a with, the, with a whole schedule of how we're going to be able to do all of this stuff and get it to you in a timely fashion. Looks great. Let me know if you need assistance to anything. Actually, Pixel, there's something you can do. You can pick up the book when it launches. <laughs> It'll help immensely. Yeah, thank you, Pixel. Okay, so having said that, yeah, it's going to be the following week. We'll keep you guys updated on the progress. So... Um, can't wait to support you guys. Your enthusiasm is a uh, thanks. Helping. Yeah. So the heat, the pressure, will go away as soon as we uh, we get this book colored up and uh, and start the campaign. So we got that. So let's wrap this up with any latecomers coming in. With the rough, this is a work in progress, guys. Um, in the go go video. I think we gotta rewind it. Oh, oh okay. Wait. Thank you. Ah. Uh, it's too fast. Do you know what the target goal for the campaign will be? You guys are figuring this all out. <laughs> the target goal? What's what's the target? The target price, I guess, they're asking. I think everything will be um, similar in price to like Cyberfrog. So the way everybody's doing it is most of the campaigns are similar to the other campaigns. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're using the Cyberfrog, um, Lone, Star. Lone Star, Red Rooster, and um, that's that's the basic three that, um, and actually um, 
John Malin has a pretty successful campaign he's doing now with a graveyard shift. So he's um, inspiring us as well. So we're kind of looking at those guys right now for the overall campaign. But there's one thing that we have that they don't have is that we have a 90s timeline that we're going to tie into. So there's going to mm -hmm. be a lot of nostalgia in this book. So there's got to be a lot of 90s uh, tiers. So one of the tiers that we're, we're playing with will be, it'll be kind of like a 90s grab bag where and it, it will have to be a higher tier, higher price tier because... And limited. Yeah, because it's limited. There's, I, I don't have like very many of, of a lot of these things left, like the original ash can, the trading cards, the pogs. Um, the postcards, there's there's quite a bit of stuff, but it's very, very limited. So um, I think maybe we'll do them in a grab bag kind of, you know, 90s uh, grab bag, which will have all of those things, of course, plus the new book. And then we're, we're going to have two ash cans. I'm pretty sure we're going to do it this way. We'll be releasing or we'll... we'll let you have access to the original 94 ash can that came out in conjunction with the original black and white series. And um, we're going to do another one that will be exclusive to the Kickstarter, or, oh gosh, Kickstarter, Ooh. Indiegogo campaign. We've done a couple Kickstarters, guys. Um, so my brain's still kind of geared up that way. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that as a brand new ash can and so it's going to roughly be 16 pages because the story is 16 pages but we might add some extras like pinups and stuff it's from a good that size ash can. yeah and that's not going to be remastered that's going to be in its raw state so you'll get to see um that as well and one of the things you guys have mentioned and maybe if we get more support on it we'll do it but possibly a black and white in black and white. So I'm not sure if you guys are talking about <clears throat> like releasing the original series in black and white, just the line art, or if you want to see the remastered book in just line art. Or, I just thought of this, possibly a before and after book mm. that has a comparison. So maybe it has both stories in it, um, the original and the new, but just in black and white form. God, that would be, like, if it's 48 pages and Big. 48 pages, that's almost a 100-page book. So maybe that would be a campaign unto itself. I was going to say, that could be a whole other... <laughs> or if we do, like, a, a lot of people respond if you follow the black and white Facebook page to that portfolio that we posted from a Comics Asylum. Um, we could release a giant-sized portfolio with all the comparisons. That would be huge. It though. would. That'd be too much. Yeah, that'd be massive. See, this is where. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to think about this stuff, but let us know what you think. So here we go. This will be. We're gonna we're gonna end this show on a high note. Here we go. What did Edwin Boyette People say? want Edwin Boyette to do the uh, tagline at the end of the video or get him to do the reading. Well, we can't really do the reading because it's from Art's point of view, but me, I don't know. We have him do a pretty cool teaser if you guys look. Yeah, after yeah. this, after this, you guys go to um, just scroll down on some of the YouTube videos that we posted already. And there's one, it's like a little teaser, and we have Edwin's voice in there. And it's pretty amazing. Edwin is a major supporter of this, and he's turning into a really great friend. That was them. People are praising. Uh, they have their character portraits that you post us tweet are the best original art out there. Oh, thank you. So this is the original ash can here. So I think we have a little bit over a hundred, and same with the trading cards that we showed you real quick. There and then the uh, the postcard and then the pogs. If you're, if you're a real collector, you're gonna want to get your hands on those pogs. That's a phone card, by the way, through Dynamic Forces. <laughs> that was then. This is now.
<laughs> I was playing my air keyboards. Is that Christ Energetics music, X Pixel? That one actually isn't. Um, that is some some sci-fi action music I had stowed away. So we're working with um, John now, and he's got some some tracks, and we're trying to figure out how to work them in. Um, but for that segment, we need something that's more action-packed. So we're thinking um, he's got this spy thriller music, and we'll play it. Uh, we're thinking we'll play it at the very beginning. But we're we're gonna see. We're gonna play. There's still there's still some creative room here. Yeah, we're I'm we're kind of talking so. But the thing is, man, I, I just want you guys to hear it because it's so freaking cool. He just put some um, drums into it, some uh, some pretty cool drum licks, and it brings it brings it up a notch. He's very good. The sci-fi suits. Like I said, this is work in progress for the Indiegogo black and white video. Yeah, baby. So, um, that's it for uh, this edition of hacks chat do you have anything you want to add taylor thanks for joining us behind the scenes uh, after the video stick around i'm going to add some links uh the chrono mechanics link will be included for those of you that are interested in uh seeing jeff and art work together get your get your eckleberry fix yeah and just to recap for you guys uh the big news was one we got a scratch video work in progress and the other is we have Brian Miller of hi-fi color fame coming on to do the color work and we have uh, Jeff Eckleberry the great Jeff Eckleberry coming in to help out with the lettering on the book as well so it's coming together um, it's coming together quickly now I mean, it seems like it's been taking a long time trying to put everything but it's all starting to come together now so so we're so excited about getting this to you guys, and uh, we'll keep you posted on the progress on how everything um, is coming together. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. Keep your eyes peeled on that social media.